everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round two of the Corellia <laughs> Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited for today. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Dio Morales, and today, throughout this entire Galactic Series, we're doing a bunch of community team-ups, and this community team-up is with X-Wing Chile. My co-host for this round is... Francisco Herr Professor Salazar. That's right. Super excited. Tell them us tell us a little bit about your channel so people know where to find you. Okay, so we are the Chilean Community YouTube channel. We're on YouTube. Uh, currently, the Sith Squad is running the channel, but it's a community-driven channel. We stream all kinds of games, podcasts, and stuff. So everyone who wants to join us, subscribe us, and join us on Monday at... 10 p.m. Chilean time. We will have five, we will have the Sith Challenge final game. So everyone's invited to join us. Awesome. All right. X Wing Chile on YouTube. X Wing Chile. Now, those of you who are playing, you who are watching right now, we have our Choose Your Champion betting open right now. You got about two minutes to get it in. All right. If you don't know how to play Choose Your Champion, I'll go ahead and get the uh, the helper text up there for you. It's really easy. Um, if you want to check your balance of points, type exclamation point points. I see that we have an overlap of the graphics there. There we go. Um, exclamation point points to check your graphics and then in order to bet you pick which one player you want let's say if you're going for fernando in the empire you would type exclamation point bet you would put a space you would type the number one you would put another space and then how many points you want to do it now if you really want to do it the gold squadron way you just type the word all and you put 10k or all your points in there and that's super fun what do you use the points for well we do different community giveaways you can do different uh graphics on the board or just for the pride of being the top earner here on gold squadron but here we go let's go ahead and break down these lists my friend yeah we're gonna start with uh, fernando he's playing a major vendor with the os1 arsenal load at far load out fire control system proton torpedoes advanced lamb and advanced proton torpedoes also darth vader fire control system Afterburners and the Grand Inquisitor with Proton Rockets. Really, really cool. I'm all in for Fernando. I really love Empire. Uh, Imperial Aces has been hit hard by the points, so all in for Fernando. And then, and then mm -hmm. we have, yeah, we have four Kashyyyk defenders and Sabine Ren with Intimidation. Some people really excited about that list. Others, not so much. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It will be, it, you know, it's going to be an interesting matchup. This is a list that I'm pretty sure is going to be pretty good. But it's important, and I think our job here um, as broadcasters here uh, bringing this premier level play is to take these lists that people think might be good and document them playing it and just want to make a quick shout out to our patrons i got actually a couple of, of notifications for people becoming patrons thank you guys so much and uh this is this is just a big a big love and hug for you okay thank you guys so much <laughs> and uh sending, sending them a little a little little thank you there now um if you were playing choose your champion which list do you think has the advantage? Let's let's not go with the motions. Who do you think actually has the advantage? Um, I think all of the whole, the 48 points of life that the Kashyyyk defenders have, uh, but they also have a good output of damage against the mostly fragile aces. Maybe the Kashyyyk defenders have a little bit of edge, especially because the, the Imperial shot, the Imperial shots are going to be key. If he misses those torpedoes, those uh, out, damage output shots, he's going to have a really hard time. So I think maybe the edge is on blue player here on um, Josh. I want Fernando to go, but I think Josh has a little bit of advantage regarding that. Very, very beefy list. Yeah, the beef is definitely there. What about you? <clears throat> One of the things that I've talked about a lot when you're playing against quad Wookiees, this is now quad Wookiees and a friend, 
is to make sure mm -hmm. that you play fast because their biggest strength is not like the 180 degree arc is good, but their biggest strength is in fact in their health. There's a lot of beef on the board. So you need to make sure to be sure in your moves, be confident about them, focus fire one of these Wookiees down at a time. That's going to reduce the amount of arc coverage that they have, and that's just going to get you through that reinforce one at a time. If you start spreading around your damage, your 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 chances of actually winning the game go down significantly. But before we keep going into that, I need to remind everybody that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code Corellia2020 for 15% off anything in the shop there. Thank you so much for all of their years of support. Now, the other thing... The, like the twist in this list, I want to talk about Sabine. So if you're not familiar with Sabine's ability, her ability reads that before you execute a maneuver, you can perform a boost or a barrel action. She essentially has supernatural reflexes, the TIE Fighter. And, he, exactly. and then Josh brought Intimidation. So Intimidation says that when you're at range zero of somebody, you reduce their agility by one, specifically an enemy ship. So, we and that one green die less for the imperial list is going to be really tough. Absolutely, like you, because you you rely on that. Yeah, you you are paying for that that those three agility dice on Darth Vader and the Grand Inquisitor, and you know we talk about how good the force is. The force is good, but if you start taking away those dice, the multiple like the multiplier effect that the force is able to have, it gets gets diminished over time as you start losing those dice. Yeah, and thinking about the 180 degree arc is gonna it's also going to be harder to stay away from arcs. So you want to keep your force at low usage so you have it all available as as much as you can. But if you have a hard time getting outside of arcs, you're gonna spend it too fast and then it's no mods and it can be really, really hard. And a quick reminder to anybody who's watching this in the future, the coupon codes, and people watching now, the coupon codes for Curled Paw and District Foundry are only good until Monday. They're not good on Tuesday. But do you actually know what? With the meme that we have readily established here on the channel of asking if the coupon is good on Tuesday, we actually have a bonus coupon for the GSP merch shop for you guys, Corellia 2020, for $5 off any merch you want to buy. And it's good until Tuesday. All right, there you go. We got a Tuesday coupon. You've been asking for it for years. We got it now. <laughs> now, I know I know a couple of guys from Chile who already used the coupon. Nice. Yeah, we got to get yep. ready. You know, we got to be ready for online play or for in-person play once uh, once that gets going. I'm super excited. Um, you know, for 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 the time when we can actually come back in person. Now, one question that I do get from a lot of people is asking that you know once. Uh, once the world returns back to normal or the new normal, do we um, – is Gold Squadron still going to have online stuff? And the answer is absolutely. You know, growing this tradition, you guys have gone, gotten used to it. We probably won't do as many events, but we still will do um, events. And I'm pretty sure the Galactic Championships will become a yearly thing. So uh, look forward to that. You know, it, it might change in format. <clears throat> might, might might not be as many qualifiers and stuff like that. But we're definitely going to be taking care of everybody, especially that we know that not everyone in the community is able to travel to uh, major events. And this is a way to give that experience to those people in our community who can't do that. But we are getting in the rough of it here. Uh, Vinder turning in, ready to uh, <laughs> to do some damage here. Yeah, the Wookiees are kind of spread up, spread out, which uh, is not going to help him very much to try to hurt the Imperial Aces. But on the other hand, uh, I think the, the, the Wookiees are going to be benefited by it because he's not going to be able to focus fire too much either. So he's taking a lock now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seeing his options. Those Blue is the one that's actually torpedoes. in his arc. Yeah, incoming torpedoes, <laughs> for sure. Now, important thing to note there, usually Vinder, um, if 
she's gotten into a position where she has to slam to get the target lock, will only be able to reroll with fire control system. This was not a slam maneuver. This was just a normal maneuver with a lock, which means that Vinder does have the whole target lock available to reroll the attack dice when firing that proton torpedo. Absolutely, which is really, really important. You want to modify as much as you can, be able to land that crit, maybe strip the shields out and put the crit in. Yep, important to note here that that blue Kashyyyk defender took a focus, not a reinforce. So that is not a guaranteed yeah. evade happening there. Yes, uh, I, I didn't like that. Maybe it was safer. But uh, or maybe he wasn't he wasn't thinking that Vinder is gonna, was going to come in so fast. Maybe that's what happened there. Or he just wants to put damage out, mm -hmm. choosing violence again. That's right. <laughs> and we're we're far shots fired now. That's right. It's time to go pew pews. Now yeah. the Grand Inquisitor does see that there are three arcs pointed at him so he has to decide whether or not he actually wants to use the the ability to uh let's make sure to give him a little Hit. ping ping in the dice box <clears throat> nick just so that they're it right, looks like they're good just those defense dice are sitting over there on the table Ooh, Ooh all right inquisitor Hit, crit, crit. all right they got it they got it let's see and going to be getting one early. Very nice. And Sabine is safe. Now, that TIE Fighter is definitely uh, <laughs> definitely hard it to hit. Scary, it was a scary red dice roll. Two mm -hmm. crits for Sabine. That would have hurt a lot, but green dice helped her. Though I, w I, I still have to say I would have preferred a shot into one of the Wookiees. I know that Sabine can mm. be kind of a pain in the butt uh, with the blocking ability, but the Wookiees is, is how Josh will win this game. Like that That's what carries yep. him over the finish line. But we'll see. Here we go, Vinder. So we have Prado. Yeah, with Prado and Torpedoes now. Mm -hmm. This will be four dice. Into blue. He's got two of them. Spend the lock most and likely, he's or is he going to fire control? We'll see. Spend the lock. the lock. I think that's the good choice. I mean, most of the time, Vinder won't be able to get a shot on the same target anyway because of the speed at which she moves. And that's going to be four. Ooh. Two crits and two hits oh. after the conversion. And two crits coming in. That's going to be two shields, and yeah, that, those crits are hitting the hitting the uh, the hole right away. We got a blinded pilot, which makes that blinded focus pilot. useless. Useless, yeah. And council fire, we're Ooh. rolling for some damage to see if we take some additional damage when it's time to shoot. This is a great opening for Fernando. He's feeling good, but he can't get overconfident because these Wookiees still have a lot of chunk. Got to watch out. Yes. So you, you, he already has half points yeah. on that one. 21 to 0. Which is good. Yeah. But still, you see, you, you think, oh, okay, I have half points, but it's 21 points. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not that much. So if you give up half of your chips, you're, you're behind. <laughs> yep. So that's, that, that's the thing with Imperial Aces. Yeah, you need to be careful. Don't get confident. All right, that's one hit coming from Sabine into the Grand Inquisitor. Should be able to shrug this off pretty easily with just a natural dice. Yeah. You want to keep that evade just in case those Wookiees hit you hard. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Well, um, I would spend the force here. Yeah, okay. I think I would too. Uh, but, you know, actually, he went, he, the, he went with the evade because he used the force on his attack. Oh, uh, you don't want to. <clears throat> yeah. But red was actually just out of range. And green will have a shot as well. Green. Green has it at range three. With a focus. Let's see. Only one force to mod the dice. Hit, for the Inquisitor. Hit crit coming in. Crit hit. 
You don't want to give out half points right away. And uh, looks like he is going to be giving a shield. But wasn't it range three? He should be wrong. Oh, yeah. One more yeah. die. One yeah. more die. Yeah. Yep. But missing one. There it is. There it is. The dice there gods go. did not punish him for forgetting that additional die. That always feels bad. Like, oh, wait, I got one more. Ah, uh, it's a blank. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. All right, we begin the onslaught into Vinder. Maybe an onslaught. We'll see. Going to have a couple of shots there, yellow and blue. Blue goes first with a focus. But the focus does He's not matter. Fire the console fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't. His console fire. He's doing the console fire now. Safe. That's the only time you love a blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is range two against Vendor? Hit crit. You just have two die. You're not disarmed. One shield down for Vinder, and now it's taking a range three shot from yellow. Ah, uh, only one. One hit. And Vinder, will mm. she be able to get out of it? No, she's going to take a shield. No, another shield. So Vinder is 63 points, uh, but I think it's the most, the, sorry, the easiest ship to land damage on because mm -hmm. of the, only the two die. Most of the time it's not going to have mods for defense. So maybe there Josh is trying to get half points or Vinder out of the table with a couple of uh, ordnance still on and not allow him to shoot all of them before he dies. That's key when you have a ship with, that's loaded with, in this case, two, two different ordnance. You want to kill him before he shoots all of them. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, the th and on the <laughs> other hand, you want to. Let's talk about the yeah, cost of Vinder, right? Vinder is sixty-three points. That's one and a half Wookies. Like, get, yeah, you have to try heavy. to get that value out of Vinder. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, real quick, before I forget, uh, uh, sh now. shout out really quickly, uh, shout out to our producer, Nick, who's in the background, who's doing all, all, all the all the extra stuff that I, that I need <laughs> at random. So yeah. shout out to Nick as well, part of the production team. And everybody, honestly, here helping today. We got three judges on staff as well. Uh, th this is on the real, guys. I know it's through the, through the internet, but this is a real tournament. People doing the work to make sure that we have an awesome event. Now, go ahead. Sorry about that, Francisco. Yeah, no, I was going to say that now, uh, probably being so close to the blue Wookiee, uh, Vinder is going to have is going to have a hard time trying to shoot him again, like another torpedo. So that's that's good for for Josh, because maybe Vinder is going to have to switch targets and not being able to to kill. The blue one, he mm -hmm. has to protect it at all cost, because if he, he's spending the, the torpedoes on a different one, uh, that's what you want. You want your your rival to be spreading out damage and not focusing on only one of those defenders, Kashyyyk defenders. Agreed. Now I want to talk a little bit about I mean, Vinder's maneuvers. Probably will have Vader arriving now. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, Vinder's maneuver possibilities. So. Let me grab my, my, my Telestrator here. So it's going to be interesting about what does Josh want to do with this Wookiee. Is the Wookiee going to try to go in for a block here, you know, something like a one or a two bank, and then you bring mm -hmm. in green and yellow to try to attack Vendor? I mean, you already got a couple of shields. Could be there. Because you know the minimum. I think you, you got to protect yourself from the one bank of Vendor. Right. A agreed. Agreed. If you, yeah. But one of the things that Josh has, and a lot of people forget that the Wookiees have this now, they have a stop. They can just stay right there. And because the, uh, especially for blue, because blue has a uh, blinded pilot, a focus doesn't do anything for him this turn. 
he could choose to just go ahead and stop and get a nice range one shot uh, if Vinder tries to do something cheeky. If, he, if Vinder does the one bank, there's nowhere Vinder goes to get out of the arc. Um, and I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure a three. Actually, you might be able to get out with like a three bank and then three banking or three straight. Yeah, but if, if Vinder goes one bank, he's going to shoot the advanced proton torpedo. That's going to be five die coming in at blue. Maybe it's going to kill him before he shoots. That's very true. So many so possibilities. That's why I, I say you need to protect <laughs> from that one. Yeah, yeah, you need to protect. I think that's the one that because if you protect from the one bank and then he goes faster, he's not going to shoot you. Hmm. And then if you have him go for yellow, see, yeah, two bank. Uh, I think that's that. He's gonna. Yeah, I just yeah, think I just think, the console fire. I feel like that's just such an uh, an obvious move to to block the Vance proton torpedo. I I, re I want the three bank. The three bank is what I want. I don't know if it is what's gonna happen. It's what I want. Cause we're, ooh, oh my gosh, the three from, the, from Vinder. Vinder, if three if Vinder does a three yeah. bank, he's he's gone. He is fine. He'll be able to advance slam over here and be able to shoot a torpedo at green. Three bank, three bank. He just Fernando could yep. not. If if Fernando got greedy, <laughs> then that's that's where it could uh, it could cost him. Well, I read that Fernando in chat that Fernando had been playing this list for a while uh -huh. and that he did really good in some tournaments at Mexico. So let's see. I probably if he he did the three in that case. He knows he knows his his own tools. Mm -hmm. Well, there's that balance, right? It's sometimes people forget about the advanced proton torpedo, or it's one of those where it's like, do I think you will, and then you won't? You get into this Princess Bride situation where it's like, I know that you know that I know, and it just continues to go. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that we're doing today, somebody asked about a marble race. We will be doing a marble race at the end of round six, and what we're giving, what we're giving away for that is the honor of picking our next rotating GSP emote in the Twitch chat. Something we've been doing once in a while, and I figured Corellia would be a good time to keep it up. So again, uh, at the end of round six today, we're going to be giving away the opportunity to choose the next emote that will be on the channel for a couple weeks. And then it gets added to our Discord. Lots of fun there. So Vinder bumped. Vinder did, Vinder did bump. A three turn. Yeah, he did and a three. Bumped. Yeah. Yep. A three turn and bumped yellow. So he's just going to take a, a primary two die shot into someone obstructed. Maybe not going to. Well, right now, if you look at the positioning, this, this Wookiee right here is about to take some pain. All three of Fernando's ships yep. are going to be. Uh, Getting shots here, and even though uh, Fernando didn't get any actions with that gunboat there, he put it in a position where it's not getting shot, and he has options in both directions for next turn. So it was, it was a very safe move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All you right. gotta keep your options open. And here, here begins Vader. I'm. I'm I'm, I'm not sure why he has been choosing focus instead of reinforce. So Vader blanks out there. Yeah. Has fire control, but probably will just go ahead and spend the lock. Yep. yep. Mm. And a force, force expenditure maybe. will will get you hit crit. Oh, sorry, no, we'll get you uh, two hits. Yep, spending there the force. Spent the force, two hits. One evade. Only one. Now the Grand Inquisitor probably. Yep. Yep, that's gonna be a range one shot. No need to use the ability here. Not yet. No. The Grand Inquisitor might good. might use it for defense against Red in a little bit. So three v one. 
That's a hit, hit, crit. Ooh, that's what you're looking for. Two hits and a crit. Got the evade, but you are getting... Crit coming through. Yep, that crit, that crit is getting into the juicy center of that Wookiee. Damaged mm -hmm. engine. That That's actually Damaged pretty engine. rough. That's, uh, the Wookiees like to have those hard turns to really swing that 180 arc around. Um, but again, the 180 arc allows it so that the, the bank is pretty effective too. So we'll see. Range 3 through a rock. 2v3. You can always blank. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Vinder. Just one? Just one. And plenty. Plenty there. I'm really curious to see yeah. what's going to happen uh, on this shot right here. This this is this is what I'm curious about because that Wookiee was able to hold on to that focus that whole time. But Sabine does get a shot at the Dark Lord of the Sith first. <laughs> Range three through the rock. That, that's my guy. That's I'm from the Sith squad, so the Dark Lord of the Sith. That's my guy. That's right. <laughs> Just one? Yeah, just one. He should be phase. Phase safe, sorry. Range three, obstructed. Plenty of dice. Got it. Yeah, safe. But now the Inquisitor. He has to use the force. Mm hmm to uh, negate the range one bonus. Yeah, with, with the, with focus, the focus, focus out there. Hurt him really bad. Yeah. He already has his hand on it. You can see that he's ready. He's ready to flip. <laughs> yeah. Bring it up. <laughs> and it's flipped immediately. He's like, I'm flipping it. Uh, yeah. You have to. Ooh, Ooh. not a great That's roll for bad. the Wookiee there. No, that's a bad moment to hit variance. We we usually see, we have learned that with uh, TTS, the at least down here that it's not. Many people say, "Ah, oh, my dice, my dice," and recently we have said it's the moment that you hit variance. <laughs> like sometimes you get. Three natties with only one hit coming in, you don't need that. But then you have three coming in, and you blank out. Oh, so it's the moment that you get the variance that's what <laughs> defines it. Yep. Because right now, he had three die with a, with a focus and just blank, blank focus. That's not what you want. It's a bad moment to get it. All right, well, here we got a range two shot going in from the green Wookiee into Darth Vader. And completely thing, blakes right? out. Completely. Yeah. Because maybe at the end of the game you will see, no, my red die was okay, I got average. But in the key shots, you you, you were hit by variance, and that that's that's tough. You need the key shots to be average. <laughs> Just give me average. <laughs> mm-hmm. Especially against the aces. So now, Vinder, what do you say? He's going right, or he's just playing it safe through the back of the Wookiees? Um, I think, I mean, let me look at the positioning here. The, the one uh, the one bank in either yeah. direction probably fits. To, to the right, it's going to be a little tighter than to the left. But I, I want to see, I think Vinder needs to disengage. A little bit. I think a, a hard right to the left and then to the right to go ahead and um, that should be fine. Mm -hmm. What if you go uh, to his right, you said, right? Because mm -hmm. you can do turn right, turn left, and then take a target lock on green. Yep. And start putting out those torpedoes to value and probably the green uh, sorry the blue and the yellow Wookiee are going to turn it's easier to line up the 180 arc if you turn so and you have green in the kill box there red coming in from behind 
Absolutely. Now, one of the things I also wanted to mention here for everybody who's watching live now, we got 421 people. Hello. Many of you have watched our live weekly content. We stream here weekly on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Mondays is our weekly podcast where we have discussions about X-Wing. You guys can be a part of the conversation through the chat and uh, the, the questions that we dish out there. On Wednesdays, GSP League Night, where GSP members, uh, myself and other podcast members, play against the community, and then we have the Gold Squadron Flight Club, which is on Saturdays from 5 p.m., to 10 p.m. where we give different list building challenges that anybody can be a part of. All you have to do is sign up for Flight Club. It's completely free on our Discord. So if you want to join our Discord, exclamation point, Discord, and right in the very top channel is the Flight Club channel. By the way, people who are in the Flight Club, we've got some exciting news coming here in the next couple of weeks. I'm working on some stuff for you, some cool swag, some Flight Club themed stuff. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see when we get there. But that is completely free to join it's just a fun way to uh, give people different challenges and experience uh, just different different metas that you're not used to it's really really fun so thank you to all of those who have joined and i look forward to seeing more of you there i think our overlay is missing uh one you have to take one hall from green he has a damage card there and it's showing six the overlay yep it's done there. cool thanks People were saying, we're talking about it in chat. So, okay. Fernando is ready with his dials, and the Wookiees are still thinking. Green one is about to get ready. Yeah. It's always safe to put the dial in the direction you're moving so you don't make a mistake, especially in a big tournament like this. <laughs> so, you, Josh has his dials all turned around to match the ship position. Play it safe. Shout out to first time caller in our chat saying I'm a new player, audience member. Happy to found your channel. Welcome. Welcome to GSP. Welcome to the fam. That is the official title of everybody who hangs out here on GSP. You are the fam. Everybody has their thing. But here we go. Wookiees starting to turn. Turn the ships yep. around, try to get those arcs in spots where you think Vinder might be. He repaired the blinded pilot. Yellow is turning too. So do you borrow a roll to try to block him or just take a focus? He took the focus. Probably just, you take the focus, you want the shots. Wookiees, Wookiees have a hard time dealing uh, with, the, uh, with the stress that comes along with that. Mm-hmm. So Sabine now, probably thinking about a boost or a barrel roll, boosting straight. So not many places for Vader to go now. And she bumped Vader. So what? If Vader stays there and gets bumped but doesn't move, it's going to be a really tough shot from green. Ooh, oh, Vinder he clipped. went for the bank. He went for the bank, and I said that it was close, and it clips there on the rock. Tried Ooh, to go. No actions, no shots. Nothing. This could hurt even more. Oh. These Wookiees are licking yes. those lips. <laughs> 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 that means we got you, Vinder. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's right. So the Grand Inquisitor is taking a focus there after the boost. Trade move by Vader. Now the the rocking by by Vinder is going to be something that could hurt Fernando. Fernando was in a really good place. I think this is just a too aggressive of a move there with a two bank. It's a little too aggressive. So probably debating after burners or looking for the barrel roll. But very good by Vader missing that uh, pro 
the bump by Sabine. He didn't have much place to go, but he read the block very good. Mm -hmm. Very good move by Fernando. Yeah, his hand is telling. <laughs> Maybe he's looking for a... He's taking a target lock. No afterburners. Yep, just looking looking at the options he has. You can't be defensive this turn. Yellow. You you know that the, the shots are going into Vinder, so Vader is, is pretty much safe hanging out right there. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Range okay, so first shot, three shot. Vader. 3v2. Now, for any newer players out there, when a TIE Advance has a target lock on an enemy ship, it does get an additional dice. So the attack dice move from two to three on that shot. One die. And before you spend it, you can change a hit to a crit. Mm hmm. So Vader gets two eyeballs there, debating what. I think you just go ahead and spend it. You, you, you yeah. need to stay aggressive. And one's a crit. Uh, and two shields. Because so, he's going to hold on to the focus. He's waiting waiting for that offensive punch. Yeah. They want to get Vinder out of the table. No targets for the Grand Inquisitor. All right. And Kashyyyk Defender yeah. number four. The blue one looking for shots. No uh, no dice on this one. Excuse me, no modifiers on this one because of the blinded pilot. No, no he, he repaired the blinded pilot. Well, he still has the blinded pilot token out there. I yeah, see. Yeah, he, he did, he did repair it. He just, he just didn't take it off. Yep. Yeah. So, 3v2. Naked dice, no mods for it. Any one of them should be able to shake this off pretty easy. Vinder hoping got it. I just yeah, noticed. She's safe, yeah. Just noticed one of my favorite Australians, German. One of my favorite German Australians just showed up in the chat. How's it going, Marcus? And here goes the now yellow Kashik. Really two. One hit. Should I, should I have one more? Uh, is he? Does he have to re-roll it if he goes out? Uh, yeah. He just kept the crit there. No, not sure. What are the yeah, house for, rules for consistency? That? Yeah, it's supposed to be a re-roll. It does say it on there. Give, give him a okay. little. Give him a little ping. I mean, he rolled two. He got. Uh, he got two I, evades. It doesn't roll. matter. Okay. He got two evades. It doesn't matter. Okay. Vader didn't re-roll it either. That, that happened earlier. I created a hit now from green. All right. And last shield. Shield. Yes. So now you, you keep fighting, firing onto Vinder, right? You don't go for Vader. Right. Yeah, you got you, you got to keep keep going there, see if you can get that half points. That's more than a Wookiee. And he's going. He's going for Vinder. And two after that. Yep. Two hits. And that got it. Vin Vinder is very, right. very happy so far. Has, <laughs> has not is. paid the consequences too much for what's going on here. Yeah, he he didn't get the damage from the asteroid. He only lost a shield. He's happy. A happy Vinder. <laughs> so now, do you think Vinder is going to turn right at those... Uh, 
blue and green or, and yellow sorry or i actually think that see vendor the vendor likes to operate in space in my experience and there's too much going on right here uh blue council fire blue doesn't have a council fire anymore um, no no he repaired yeah two rounds ago oh by the way hi alejandro <laughs> One of one of my one of one of my other favorite uh, South Americans, um, Hawk Break Time. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I know exactly. So here's something. Uh, so we're talking about Vendor. Vendor likes to operate in space. My concern with turning right here is those Wookies. Like the, f the they're crashing into the position where Vendor would be turning to the right. I would like to see Vendor go to the left and get the flank on to red. Mm -hmm. That's what I would want. I know that that's splitting up the fire and you have blue mostly down, but I don't think I don't think that you're actually going to have an opportunity to take a, a, a target lock shot. Going after uh, going after red is, I think, the, the call here positionally. So you take a three-turn left? Yes, I would go to the left. I would actually maybe do, maybe, yeah. yeah, a three, three, because you got to get around Vader. Yes. Yeah, and Vader is gonna have to probably also disengage, maybe. Mm -hmm. Go behind the Inquisitor, try to get another rounds of fire from a comfortable place. Because same thing, if you turn into the Wookies, you're relying maybe too much on dice. If you put yourself inside three Wookies. Agreed. Real quick. Inquisitor is already in the back, so he's safe there. Yep. For, for, our, for our friends out there, people are asking about the lists. You can now access the lists uh, by typing exclamation point lists in the chat. You get a, a drive link to our PDF with all of them on there. So blue is still uh, putting the maneuver. There it is. Now yellow should be ready. Let's see. And red still needs to put the dial. Interesting, interesting. Aces don't like this uh, clocked places with lots of ships, mm -hmm. lots of asteroids. You wanna move around, hit, Go back, reposition yourself, get another round of shots, and so on. Yeah, agreed, agreed. And one of the other big strengths of these Wookiee lists is the fact that they can overlap these 180 arcs really easily, which limits the amount of space that these aces can operate safely. They don't like to get shot, right? So um, mm -hmm. that's that. And one thing I like to do, you guys know I'm a big fan of uh, putting up polls. I have another one for you. I have a different one. So I always like to see my audience where... Where, what is their favorite faction? What is their favorite faction? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that up on uh, on the screen here. What is your favorite faction? If you could only play one, okay. The, the, don't give me this. I play them all. I mean, I I'm also a person who says I like them all. But let's let's go ahead, make the call. Time to put on your your uh, you know your big person pants, and and let us know. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Who is your favorite? You get one choice. Uh, it's it's really cool to see how the, the results start to update live and those mm -hmm. the, those bars start to go up and down. It's cool. Pretty cool. All right. And we got our first move here. The green Wookiee staying still using that stop maneuver. Red uh, one going through the cloud, through the debris cloud. That doesn't care. Wookie doesn't care. Just want to be there. Yeah, whatever. Just want to be here. Land shots. He's safe. Just, just a crit hit you in the debris. Blue coming in. Yeah, you repair it. the crit. Take it out. Mm -hmm. You can take it out. Yeah. Focus, yeah. Yeah, 
so let's talk a little bit about focus versus reinforce. It was uh, there was a little bit of a debate in the chat about which one is better. Ooh, a bump there. Yeah, um, and, you don't like that. And one of the uh, one of the thoughts on on that is you know if you have every Wookiee reinforcing, especially the way reinforced works in second edition versus first edition. Um, like in first edition, you could stop a single damage with reinforce. In second edition, you cannot. So the focus there, instead of making it so that you quote unquote potentially waste actions by having everybody um, reinforce, the focus there gives you some defensive modification, but also makes it so that you have, um, you know, you, you have offensive punch there as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, with one green die, you're not going to be able. You're not going to be using the focus on defense too much. And Vinder bumped. He just did the two as we were talking. Mm. Two didn't clear. Yeah, mm. yeah, you need to do the three. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, because now all four guns, five guns are pointing into Vinder. Oh, he's gonna have a hard time. And still no action, so no target lock, no focus, no ordnance out. <laughs> Vinder's gonna have a bad time. Poor Vinder. Vader ran away. And Vinder, uh, uh, so that's also a very important thing with this Imperial list that you don't have lots of margin for error because uh, your ships are very fragile. Instead of the Wookiees, that you can, uh, you know what, well, a couple of two, a couple of mistakes here and there. You have a lot of hull to to save you from that. But here, with these Imperial guys, you can't afford yourself too many mistakes. Mm. Come on, Fernando, my money's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I went all in. And Vader deciding to use okay, the afterburners okay. to start getting around that that uh, that debris cloud, which probably means that we're going to get a hard turn next turn. Mm -hmm. By the way, shout out to everybody who's been subbing. We really appreciate it. It goes a long way to help the channel. Uh, actually, if you have Amazon Prime, it's 100% free. If you don't know what I'm talking about, type exclamation point exclamation point prime in the chat i made a little video to show how to do it you connect your amazon account to twitch it's super easy and it's a hundred percent free it's actually part of your amazon prime uh subscription that you already paid so if you want to help us and and give us some of jeff bezos money <laughs> that's your opportunity all right so, so barely range two so no proton, proton rockets no proton rockets nope That would have been interesting. Yeah, the five die shot for blue. sure. Yeah. He's he's going. It's you can do range two guys. Oh, one yeah. yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. My bad. I was thinking of the advanced. Ooh, so this is gonna be. That's a good shot. Yeah, very good one. Yep. Spend the mod and and get four. Do you want to Three guarantee hits. that you can get it off the board? Yeah. If he gets a blank here. Spends a focus. Spend to... Hit, hit, crit. You're... I don't want to say it, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking about the... Like I'll, I'll, I'll say it. We're looking for direct hit. Direct hit. Let's find out. Uh, Not no. today. Wounded pilot. So. Well, direct hit or console fire both help you out. True. But uh, no, not today. And Vinder is going to have a range one into green. No mods, but you still. But Vinder is only at four hull with five different guys shooting at him. Come on, you can do it. Just a crit. Any blanks. One crit on green. Stun pilot. So this damage is super and, spread out and, right now. Fernando has 42 yes. to zero. 
Oh yeah, look look at how many cards are on that Wookiee. Super survivable and hasn't been taken off the board yet. That's the big advantage of his list. He can he's forty eight damage into the uh, Wookiees. So you can you can have them resist a lot. And only one and spending the focus. Here Vinder is gonna give half at least, because only two green. So you got one. He has to re-roll that one because it fell out or as long as they're being he consistent. Roll one of them out. Yeah, maybe. I can, I can really quickly remind them about the consistency yeah. thing if, you, if you'd like. Yeah, because he took the two damage before they shot another fire. Yep. Well. They're already shooting. That's fine. Just just carry on. Carry on. Yep. Yeah, they're fine. They're they're not gonna re-roll. Okay. Mm. And he's gone. And he only he was able to only shoot one proton torpedo, so they didn't live for its points. Now into Inquisitor. Two hits. He will have to spend that one. He does. So now Josh has 63 against 42. He's in the driver's seat now. into the Inquisitor. Still with the focus, he spent the force on the other one and just one and Inquisitor gives half points. Just like that. Those 180 degree arcs giving dividends. Two hits. And let's spend the focus now on safe. <laughs> All right, sorry to those in the chat, We're just messing around here, just trying to get get the list link to work I had accidentally put the wrong one in there so I'm updating it now the command exclamation point lists should work correctly now with the actual document that is actually shared exclamation point lists Excellent, it's working now. Okay, so now basically, Josh has to just uh, be patient, <laughs> stay where, stick to the game plan. He's in the driver's seat. Don't get greedy. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Nick, can you clear the dice, please? Right. 
Having blue one more round was key. Oh, it's huge. So okay. sorry, sorry. I know I yeah. had to, I know I had to step away there for a second to do some logistical stuff, but yeah, I mean we we lost. You said it already. We lost Vinder without Vinder being able to acquire as many points as she is worth. Right? She's worth sixty three, and was only able to get half points on a single single Wookie. I think at this point, Josh doesn't really care if he loses Blue because it's done its job. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The Josh did a great job putting the Wookiees in a place to being able to block uh, Vinder, uh, putting him into a hard place and uh, having him take a, de a decision where to go and trying to block him. And yeah, Josh did it pretty well in that department. And his Wookiees were very good in putting damage on the Inquisitor because he took half so basically now just have to be patient don't get greedy you can afford to lose blue as you said and now the pressure is on fernando but we saw the nantex killing the vipers so <laughs> anything can happen All right, so let's let's look. I know that Fernando is behind, and it's not looking great mm -hmm. with this amount of time. We do need to take a look and see if there is a uh, if there is a path to victory here. With forty two points to ninety two, that means that Fernando, in order to tie it up, needs fifty. That is a Wookie and a half, or a Sabine and a half. So where where can he get that to at least try to go for? Uh, I mean that actually gets him the win in both cases because they're not you know even uh, even you know 20, uh, 20 point pieces. But you know Vader, Vader. I think you you have to take that blue. That's only one away from dying. Yeah. And that way you are a little bit closer. And then you have green is down to four. No shields. Maybe Vader can have a can have a feast there landing the crits. On green that can help him yep. so maybe with vader you have to go for green maybe a, th uh, a three turn after burners take the target lock on green and uh, have inquisitor try to finish blue that way you can turn the table yeah one of the th I, I agree i agree as as, I, yeah. i'm leaning heavily on vader for sure vader's the, really the one who needs to clean it up i'm going to be leaning on the defensiveness of the inquisitor a little bit more and as soon as the fight starts heading more towards vader that's when you get offensive with the inquisitor the biggest the biggest strength for that tie v1 is its defensiveness so i, I want to see uh, i want to see fernando utilize it as much as possible so now maybe your action is just evade and save the force mm -hmm. to modify your attack die or even save it for defense. I, I would save it for defense i think yeah because if you have one evade and one force for your three green die you should be fine fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> as, as long as you're not shot by many of them agreed so green only one bank clearing the stress. Maybe now you reinforce back to protect yourself if you're aware of your opponent's winning condition. Yep, yeah, and there it is. There it is, grabbing that reinforce. By the way, you can notice that those uh, all of our tokens today are uh, are themed like Curled Paw Creative Tokens. Shout out to Curled Paw for allowing us to use those designs and show them off here on stream. Super swaggy. <laughs> Do you know his, his? Is he thinking on on bringing his tokens into TTS in some way, or uh, just? I don't. I don't know. Um, like the the way that mine is okay. set up, essentially, is that only people watching the stream or playing on my computers can see them because the files are they live on my computers. It's like seeing it through my computer's eyes, essentially. But the players playing on it actually don't see them. Um, so that you can't just like, oh, I'll just copy them and, and use them. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's magic. 
21st century magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's setting up maybe a block for the one bank of uh, Inquisitor. Crazy Vulcan says, quote chest. unquote, magic. Magic is just something that, that you know, we don't understand yet. <laughs> Oh, he gets the crit. He got it from the cla from the debris cloud for red. So he lost a shield there. And Sabine now, right? Yes. Mhm. Mm so what's the call? He boost. She boosted. Does the boost it's gonna start maybe trace chasing the inquisitor? Ooh, it lands on the rock here. All in for the block, maybe. That's what I think. I could pay for it though, because we, we talked about you know giving up half, giving up these points. They uh, yeah. Every every point matters. And Sabine is sixteen points. If she gives out half. Yep. But still, and, she's not shooting. And right so. here, Grand Inquisitor turned away, anticipating the heat coming from that way. Uh, Fernando is leaning on that defensiveness. Boost, probably linked to a focus. Yes. And that sets up next turn for the one turn. Vader did the three. Afterburners? Afterburners. Uh, yeah. may maybe. Maybe, yes. He does it. He did, yeah. Yeah. You check to see if you have the arc first. He did not have the arc, so then he went for the uh, the burners. I think you have to go at blue. I know that it only has one hull, but you take the lock on blue just to get it off the board. It's a guaranteed kill. He's probably tempted to go at green, but with the reinforce out there, it's just not as, uh, not as, not as a good target. Just get something off the board. Yeah, because otherwise, next turn, blue is just going to fly away. Yep. So you got to kill him. You got to secure the points. He's going for red. He's going for red. <sighs> I, it's, I, I get it. I, underst I understand what he's trying to do here. He's trying to get into the half points on red. But killing blue gets you the same amount of points and is a more of a guarantee than getting those half points on red. It also takes away a shot from Vader, and you need Vader to not take any damage over these next couple turns in order to win this game. You, If Vader goes to half, Fernando has lost the game. Yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. One hit and two focuses Ooh. coming in. So maybe... Changes to the crit? Reroll one. Force, saving the focus for defense. That is. But a, you spent it all. We a, talked about this at the beginning. Spending all the force puts you in a hard place. That's a really aggressive position. So that's going to be a crit. hit crit. Console fire. That might help. It might, but I mean, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna give him half of red if he gets uh, so the console he, fire to trigger. Here's a situation where it does help. In the event that Vader doesn't take any damage and the Inquisitor doesn't take any damage here, you're right, you, you get out of this clean. Mm -hmm. um, it will be easier to kill uh, the 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 blue Wookie next turn, maybe. Because the Wookiee can fly at you. You do have a one forward, but that's going to be kind of close. Not ease. See, that, that's what we were talking. You only one hit, but you roll four and you get Natties. Maybe that's not the moment you want the Natties. Just one one. <laughs> and now Vader is getting shot. Only one. So sideline report over XPOV. Should be safe there, yeah. Safe. Yeah, he he's safe. And now yellow. What are the ships? 
Ooh, but he spends has a focus, it. So two hits and one crit. Later, you need to. <sighs> Ooh, bad moment. That's both shields. It spends a focus, both the shields. On the edge of giving half points. And we have eight minutes left, so probably we'll have two rounds, maybe. <laughs> no, he didn't. He has to. Yep. Good yep, call. I, I, I already, I, I sent them the text in the box. They just pinged it. And takes the damage. That's half points. That's half points. So, so we're like 63 over 92. Mm -hmm. 29 points you need to to go ahead. So that's blue and anything else. Yep. And any, I, any half you want. And I know that hi, you know hindsight's 2020, but the f the f decision to spend the force on offense rather than spend the focus makes it so that going into this round he only has a single force rather than being able to go in with two so we'll see if mm -hmm. that makes a big difference in the coming turns and i mean with only six minutes and change left in the round every every force matters and you're you're not going to have enough time to regen back up to three so th that one no, force could make a huge difference. Especially if you're behind. You want to keep all of your mods available. You want to keep all of your tricks available. And uh, now it's going to be a little bit uphill with only one force. On the other hand, Inquisitor has two forces back. And now probably is going to turn left. One hard, clear the stress, boost, and take a... A focus to try to kill blue. What's the fastest maneuver that the Wookiees have? Do you know? Four straight, I believe. Maybe five straight red. Are they used to have a five straight? I have five in my head. So in that case, maybe with blue, you just go fast. <laughs> yeah, the I go as fi fast as possible. So Vader, Vader can't get him. Four, four, four white four. straight. Maybe that's that's what he's doing. People are calling the the fact that Sabine will block the Inquisitor. I mean, maybe that's you know what I will tell you this. We don't know whether he will or not, or whether Sabine will or not. We do know that she will try. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We said that Vinder was going to do a three turn and didn't do it, so maybe Sabine is not blocking. Uh -huh. Who knows? Especially when you're in the final round, score is too tight. Sometimes your decision making, it's hard. It's hard. Stress is a thing. Oh, I'm, I thought green was going to go away. Mm -hmm. We're going, we're... I thought you'd just go away with green, save the points, because now you're giving out a target for the Inquisitor. Well, if you trade the Inquisitor you, for a Wookiee, that's that's even. Green. That's that that is a that is a winning trade if if that happens. We just banked. He right. has to roll for wounded pilot, or what? A reinforce? Maybe. What? What? Yeah, you're not going to be able to save one. Mm. See, that, that it's is the stress. That's a, <laughs> it's the stress of the, yeah. That is a misplay for sure. And he has to roll for a wounded pilot, blue one. Maybe if you can yeah. give him a shout. He has to roll. If we are getting another round, that stress might be important. And Sabine probably thinking whether or not she's boosting. So 
So even if she wants, she cannot barrel roll right, right? Because that would take her through the correct, pastor, right? Correct. Yeah, it does not have access to that right side barrel roll. She is boosting. People asking if the council fire from earlier happened. It did. That's what took the half points. And did the two straight there, trying to block or, you know, trying to she, she, close she off that. Block. <laughs> she blocked herself. She's trying to close off that alley to the right side. But Inquisitor goes to the left. Sitting at range mm. one. Gosh, that might actually be just barely range two. And what looks to be range three. I think the Empire, uh, I think Fernando still has a chance. He's got a, uh, he's a yeah. little bit of luck, a little bit of luck, and some good choices. Combination of both. So here with Inquisitor, do, 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 do you do the, the boost link to focus or just take a focus and stay there? All right, and right now, time is up, uh, time, time is up in the, the, on the event round, so I need to go ahead and uh, take care of some TO thing. Fernando, uh, I leave them with you. Okay. So let's see. The Inquisitor today is she's thinking about the boost. Oh, uh, Fernando. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I would do in your position. Whatever you do, I'm with you. My money's on you. He's thinking it's a tough choice. What does this chat think? What do you guys think? Should he boost? Okay, he boosts left. Link to focus. Okay, they were saying just debate. No, I think. And now Vader. Okay, Vader has to take take blue out. Take the target lock. Exactly. Spend the force, get a focus, but still gonna get shot by yellow. So you wanna try to get blue out of the way without spending that focus. Who's everything's down to this last shots. So here we go. Vader, range one into blue. Four die. All right, right I'm I'm back. He, what did do? He's been the focus. That was weird. Whose attack is this? Okay, Sorry, so I just stepped back. He, Vader is, is going for uh, for blue. He got three hits, one eye, re-rolled the eye, and got another eye. And he's not spending the focus, which I think is wise. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't need to. He's dead already. He only has one agility. Yeah. One damage will always go through. That's why the, the reinforce is a kind of a... Conf <laughs> Maybe it was a confusing tactic by Josh. Like, oh, look, you, you got to spend all these tokens to try to get through this defense. It didn't really matter. You just needed to do one. No. But Vader is going to get shot at range one from yellow. So now... So blue is taken off the board. Eighty-four to ninety-two. Anyway. The Inquisitor needs to do. Uh, you got to fire at yellow. That's where your point. Or did, did he I have? Think he's going did he have red? Her... You got to. No, he's he, going for yellow. You have to he go is. at yellow. That's the only way you win the game. You got to get half points there. Oof. Oh, just a crit. And he's safe. He's safe. And that's the ball game, friends. Well. Yeah, I mean, the, maybe the, green. I mean, green might be able green to do something here, but the, the Inquisitor would not have been able to kill green. In this, this goes back to the 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 last turn. If Vader had had killed blue last turn, he would have been available to take the range one shot into yellow, grab the half points, and he would have won this game, 
right there. Absolutely. That one yes. decision switched is a different result in the game. But that, you know, that's the biggest thing I, I like to emphasize with these matchups is it's all about learning, right? That's why we record this. That's why we stream is so that players, when they find themselves in these situations or they go back and watch their games, they go, you know what? That's right. I did make a wrong decision there. I'll, I'll do it better mm -hmm. next time. It's all about learning. I think maybe the 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 first uh, bumps that Vinder had maybe troubled Fernando's mind. Sometimes it happens when you play this list, like you make a couple of bad choices and you start, you get confused and you don't think right. That happens too, especially in a tournament like this that you want to do right, you want to get wins at the beginning. So, yeah. Two four hits. Oh my God. Still four rounds to go. Save the mob. <laughs> so, uh, player two does win this one. The final score being 84 to 100. Uh, this will be, it'll be a little bit more than that because Inquisitor just died. Uh, 100 and, and change. Um, so, right there in the voting last time, it was 50 50.